Right now, your LED, okay, on here, if you can see, one strand is, or one lead is slightly longer than the other, okay. Now you need to leave it like that, but you do need to trim this down, okay. What you need to do is trim the wires on this down to about 25mm, okay, but trim it diagonally so you leave that one lead that's shorter, shorter, so you know what one is the right way around. So trim it down to about 25mm like that and as you can see I've left one still longer than the other so I know what one's what okay so put this in your clamp okay like that and then get this ready to solder right we'll do the longer lead first so we'll do the live one first so get your color that you've got for your live and put it in your clamp and get it lined up with the lead on the LED okay okay cool so once you've done that with a clean soldering tip you need to hold the heat on there for a second. Put a bit of solder onto the leads, not the tip of the soldering iron itself, and then move away. Okay, so check your joint then, just give it a wiggle. Yep, that's tight on there. Take this end out of the clamp and move it out of the way. And now you want the next colour which you picked for the ground and solder that one on. Okay, so for me that's white. And we'll just get that one lined up there. See what I mean when I said this makes it so much easier because you haven't got to worry about holding it in place then. The trouble is the leaded solder that I just took off of that switch is really filthy. Okay, hold the heat on. Apply a bit of solder and pull away like that. Okay, now that looks a little bit mangy there but that's okay. As long as that's a good strong joint, that's fine. That's good. Okay, now what you need is your heat shrink tube in, okay? Now, like I said, this stuff is 1.5 mil, okay? So it should shrink to about 0.5 mil. Now, what you need to do is make sure you've cut off some that's the same length as the LED lead and a little bit more, okay? So just cut it a little bit longer than the LED lead itself. Right, now, what you want to do is, is get your heat shrink tube in and push it down the wire like so and put it over the LED leads, okay? Do two of these at once, you might as well. Right, so that's now over the leads of the LED. Now to shrink this stuff, normally you need a heat gun, but you don't, just seriously, just use the side of your soldering iron, okay? All you gotta do is hold the heat from the solder, uh, side of your soldering iron onto the tube, and that will be enough to shrink it down. You can see it shrinking already around that. So there you go, as you can see, that's now shrunk down that tube and that's tight on there. Okay, excellent. Take that out of the clamp and it should look something like that. Okay, right, Okay. now what you need to do is bend your LED over so it's L-shaped, right? So grab the LED but don't squeeze, okay? Just hold it and then just bend it over like so, like that. See your LED is bent over sideways. There you go, like that. Okay, so once you've got your bit of wire with your LED soldered on the end, what you've got to do now is thread it through here. Now here's a little tip. You put a little bend in the wire like that, and then when you thread it down inside, because the end of it's got a bend in it, when you push it through, it will just poke out like that. Okay, and then you won't have any trouble threading that. So just push it through like that, and keep going until it's all the way in. Okay, now once you've got it almost all the way in, what you need to do is then pop the light out, Okay, and then just push it in the rest of the way like that. Okay, now what you want to do is, is get it in the right direction. Then you want to just put your little uh, metal cap back on and it should just fit on because the LEDs are three mil. And then just push it down like so. Okay, now once you've done that, that's now at the right height now. Right, okay, now once you've done that, that's it. Your LEDs now set in place. So now what you've got to do is put your tiny little screw back in. So a magnetic tip screwdriver will help you out loads here. Just put the little screw back in the front and bingo, job done, that's it. Now there's no need to use glue or anything in there, just pushing that heat shrink tube in down inside there is enough just to hold it in place, okay? And as you can see, it doesn't move when you pop it up and down, okay? Which is great. That's it, so once you've got your wires coming out of here, okay, now you need to move on. Right, now you can see here you've got the three tabs on your switch, okay, now your middle one's not used, so forget that one, but the top one and the bottom one, you need to put a bit of fresh solder on here, 
because the solder that's on here is really manky and dirty by now so put some fresh solder on there on both of them okay now once you've done that you need to take your resistor okay and you need to quite close to the switch solder one of the leads on there okay so just apply a bit of pressure on there melt the solder and then hold it still for a second okay like that so once the resistor is now soldered you can trim that lead off now like that and then your other lead here okay you want to trim this down to about half an inch like that okay so you've just got about half an inch on there right now let me move the camera out a little bit right now what you need to do is you need to take the wire which you uh, had for your live not your ground the live okay and leave about that much on okay and just trim this down because you don't need all of this length on here so just trim it down about there okay like that and then strip a little bit of the sleeving off the end you'll probably use a knife or some wire strippers to do this I'm just going to um, do it like this because it's easier Okay, so you've got the same amount as the resistor lead stripped off the wire there. Okay, right now what you need to do is take a piece of your heat shrink tubing and then push that onto the wire and push that down and well out of the way so the heat from the soldering iron doesn't shrink that before you even get it on there. And then basically you want to wrap the wire around the lead on the resistor. Okay, Louis, get out the way. My cat just running across the desk. Okay, so it's like that. Then what you need to do is clean the tip of your soldering iron and then apply some heat and then melt some solder onto there like that and like that. There we go. And then once you've done that, put your piece of heat shrink tube in onto there like that. Try not to cover the resistor up, just like that. Okay. Then use the side of your soldering iron to shrink down the tube in. There we go, like that. So once you've done that, you can tuck that sort of, bend it up like that out of the way. And that's that done. Make sure the light still pops in and out though, which it does, good. Okay, so that's that done. Now, the bit of orange wire which I cut off, or the bit which you're going to cut off, keep that because you're now going to solder that onto that side of the switch okay damn ass cat trash in the place piss off we are okay so now the bit of this wire which you cut off strip um, a little bit of sleeving off the end okay and then just melt the solder on there and solder that to the other leg on the switch oops get rid of that little snotty bit there otherwise that will burn that will tear through your heat shrink Okay, like that. Okay, then all you need is another little bit of heat shrink tubing over that solder joint, like that. And then just use your soldering iron to shrink that down. Like that, that's it. So it should look like that, okay? And then you've got two wires coming off of there, like that. Now, one's going to be longer than the other now, so the one that's longer than the other, just trim them down so they're both the same length, like that. Okay, done. Okay, so now if you followed all of that, you should end up like that. Okay, you have all your wires soldered on there and your two wires coming off of your light. Okay, so once you've done that, put that down because you're done with that now. All you need to do now is move on to the voltage regulator. Okay, this is the fun bit, so you need to pay attention now. Right now, this is the voltage regulator. Okay, and it's important to get this the right way around. Okay, now. If you look at this from the side, you can see it lumps out there, okay, and it's flat at the back. Now that flat part there is the back, okay, so if you hold it like that, this bit here is the back, that bit there is the front. So if you hold this down from the front, okay, the pins are here, you've got this pin here, damn pen, okay, that is the input, the plus input. This middle pin here is the ground, and this pin on this side is the output. Okay, so you've got in, ground, and out. So that remember, the middle one is always the ground. Okay, the one on the left 
is the input and the one on the right is the output okay just make sure you get that right okay so re just remember that don't worry we'll go through it as we go along so don't panic but yeah just make sure you get that right 